Alrighty, welcome on back in here. So did you know that today is actually National Board Game Day? And so this morning we are joined with lifestyle and parenting expert Amanda, Amanda Mushro, who is going to be walking us through some of the hottest game releases this year. Amanda, you have all sorts of games in front of you here. Kind of a, all right, let's start from the, from the beginning, from right to left. Yeah, so here's the great thing. Board games, they're not just for kids. I have a really fun one that is great for our 17 and older group. This one is called Think Like a Shrink. It was created by a psychiatrist and a psychologist who are best friends. And the idea is that everybody takes on the role of being the shrink and you're going to psychoanalyze everybody that's playing. They take turns, they're looking at prompts, they're looking at pictures. This one is really funny and insightful. I was playing this game with my husband. I have to say I was very good at it. I think it's because I watched so much TikTok and self-diagnosed myself and my family. So maybe that's why I was really good at it. But this is one that I feel like if you play in a group, you're going to be talking about the next day. Really, really fun. I love that. Okay, and I, again, I mean, literally, it's in the it's in the title right there. I like games that kind of make you think. You have to be creative. You know, it's a little bit more than just rolling the dice. Um, let's talk about some games for maybe age ranges uh, younger than seventeen. How about some some kids games? What's new there? Okay, so here's a few that I've been playing with my kids. This one is called Floats My Goats. This is by Who Many <laughs> Games, and I feel like it wins the naming game right yes. there. So Floats My Goats is really cute because it's uh, a boat that was full of goats has capsized and it's your job to build a raft to save your goats and sometimes you have to be a little sneaky when you're playing against other people. There's sharks involved. It is silly and fun and again Floats My Goats. Best name I've ever heard for a game. That really is. That's perfect. And I'm also loving these images that we have here, people up playing this. Okay, what about even moving even younger than that, right? So uh, kids, you know, younger kids. I know I have a, a four-year-old nephew and a six-year-old niece and uh, then a 10-year-old niece. So what about in that, uh, that age range? All right, so here's one. This is called Exit the Game. This one is for kids ages five through seven. So there's a lot of different exit games and they're sort of like creating an escape room in your house. But since this one's for five to seven year olds, there's no reading involved. It's all through pictures. So it's great for those emerging readers. So they have to solve puzzles to find the treasure at the end. But what I really love is cooperative learning, meaning they play together to win at the end. So you can get a bunch of kids together and they can play. So that's a really fun one for kids. Okay, and now I want to go back to the one, I think it might be the only one that we haven't mentioned so far. Uh, I'm seeing it there, it's called Beat the Camera. What is that one? How cute is this? This is Beat the Camera. This is by Tomi. This is really cool because you take this gem and somebody hides it into your house. Then everybody tries to find the gem, but you've got this sneaky little robot who is following you with his eyes. And if he spots you, you're out or you have to freeze. So I was playing this with my four-year-old. We were laughing so hard. We were sweating because we were trying to be real <laughs> sneaky and find the gem, but also not get caught by the robot. This one is definitely some LOLs. So, and again, you might get it a little workout in while you're playing this one with your kids. And you know what? I always love that one board game or that one game in general that the whole family can kind of get involved in. I know that, you know, a couple of years ago they had the pie in the face game. It seems like beat the cameras kind of along those lines. A hundred percent. And I love that it's anything. It gets us off our devices and right. gets us laughing and playing together. It's perfect. Absolutely. Amanda, thank you so much. Appreciate it. And I appreciate you joining us on this National Board Game Day. We appreciate you taking the time. Thanks so much for having me. Absolutely. All righty, 1014 right now on your Thursday. We're going to have more when we come back. More of the extra next.